In this video, I'll be showing you three different ways how to round numbers in Java. I won't be teaching you basic coding. I'll assume that you know how to do stuff in Java. I'll just be showing you some rounding tricks. Right here I have a number, and it's 3.14159 with a bunch of other decimals. And it's a double, which allows it to have decimal places. And then right now, I've just set it to system out print line display that number variable. Now to run these examples, I'll be using TextPad to compile and run the application via Control-1 and Control-2 for the shortcuts. It doesn't really matter how you run your examples, just the code. And so when I run this, you get about 16 decimals, because Java isn't accurate to more than that. And so even though I've provided more than that many decimals, it rounds to about 16. That's just something you need to keep in mind. Java doesn't work with very, very large amounts of decimals or very large numbers in general. So to round something, you can use the math.round method. Right here I have a variable called rounded, it's of the double type. I'm setting it equal to math.round, and then in parentheses I have my number variable. What this is saying is use the round method of the math class, which is imported in every program so you don't need to bother with an import statement. But this round method rounds to the nearest whole number. And so if I run this, I get 3. But here's where the magic happens. If I multiply in the parentheses by 100, let's see what we've done there. We've rounded to 314.0, and if you compare that, our original number is 3.141, and so the 1 is actually rounded down. Now granted this is 314 and we want 3.14 as our final result. So, to round back to do decimal places, you divide outside the parentheses by 100.0. Make sure it's point zero, or else you'd have integer division. And in Java, if you divide integers by integers, you always get an integer result which is incorrect rounding. But if I run this, I get 3.14. And so the multiplying by 100 inside the parentheses and dividing by outside cancels out. And so if I wanted more decimals, then I just add more zeros. And right here I have four decimals. Another way to round something in Java is with system out printf. And this is almost identical to system.outprint, but it allows you to format your text. So what I'm going to display is this percent %f character. And then right here I've added a new line character just to give me some space. And then a comma and my number variable. What this is telling Java with the percent %f is actually take that number variable and substitute the f for that number variable. And the f is for a float number. If you're using integers, I believe it's d. So if I run this, six decimals. If I want to specify the amount of decimals, I go in after the percent character and do a period and then two. This will round to two decimal places. And see I have 3.14. If I wanted eight decimals, I just put eight there. And see I have eight decimals. The final way is with something called the decimal format class. That's what this import statement is doing up at the top. It's importing this class. Right here I've created a variable called dformatter, which is a decimal format reference variable. And it's equal to a new decimal format object. And to the constructor we're passing 0, 0.00 in quotes. This is telling the formatter how you want your numbers to appear. The 0 will be replaced by whatever number you actually have. And then it's saying, after the decimal point, we want one, two decimals afterwards. You could also change these to pound keys, and it wouldn't really make a difference. There is a difference, but for simple rounding, you could use 0, 0.00 or pound, point, pound, pound. And then I have a string object named formatted, which is equal to, I'm using the deformatter object from up here, and I'm using the format method and to that method I'm passing the number variable, which is saying format this number from the beginning in the way that we said, with two decimal places. And then in the last line here, I'm simply printing out the result. And so this yields 3.14, as you may have expected. If I wanted more decimal places, I'd add more pound keys. And that gives me four. And that's just a quick introduction on how to round stuff in Java.